Who put this away empty? Is it empty? It's not my job to order coffee. I order tea. Oh, Andy, corporate is faxing you something huge. What? 200 pages. Yeah, but including the cover page. And it's not reading. It mostly looks like forms you need to fill in. Like a mat lift. That's it! There are so many things that happen throughout the day that really get you down. How do I deal with getting down? I get down. Yeah. Specifically down to the warehouse where I really get down. To business. What business? The business of getting down. I have a recurring nightmare that I've been wrongly accused of a crime and 12 of these idiots are on the jury. Stanley is fast asleep. Kevin eats the evidence. Phyllis's name is Allison, but it really is Phyllis. Jim is foreman of the jury and pronounces me guilty. The cop takes me away, tells me that I've been a bad boy and we have sex in the hall. She leaves the handcuffs on. They take me away to prison. The guards are all women. <sighs> what did you bring, Gabe? Oh, uh, this was so last minute because of the preemie thing. Not my fault, but, uh, I might have something in my trunk. Maybe a, a onesie or something. Thank you, Kevin. Two baby from... I got little Kevin Call of Duty. I would love for everyone to just forgive me, but if that's not happening, I'm not averse to just buying them all off. All right, guys. You know how we all like the red licorice, but it's always buried behind like a ton of black licorice? Bought it all. Now it's like Red City in there. So enjoy it. <laughs> Money bags must be nice. So you effectively spent, what, $4 on the entire office? Uh, I can't get a handle on it. Am I cheap or rich? I can't. You're nothing. <laughs> I think about all the gas money I spent on you, washing my car all to make right. sure well, you look Enjoy good. the red licorice and good riddance, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're just gonna throw away perfectly good food. It's not really food, right? I'm really hating this gym guy. Okay, okay, okay. I know what you can do, Jim. Take those black licorice, then go get some of those red licorice. Take them in your hand, roll them up real tight. And shove it up my butt. Damn it, Jim! You stole my afternoons, now you stole my line. It's not shove it up your butt, it's I'll kill you. I'll kill you dead. Eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. Eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. They hate me, fam. They don't hate you. No, it's bad. Daryl canceled go karting. When were you going go karting with Daryl? <sighs> it's a lunch thing. All right, just don't worry. We'll figure this out. I feel like a stranger in my own country. Okay, drama. Okay, well, hey, you're not here. You don't know, okay? It's intense. They made me eat black licorice. Everyone, this is Officer Foley from the Scranton PD. Works down at the courthouse. I think he has something he'd like to say. I understand that uh, some of you don't believe that Mr. Bernard drove his friend into the courthouse for jury duty last week. Correction, we don't care. Hey, aren't you an actor? No. Weren't you and Sweeney Todd last year with uh, Andy? No. You hired your actor friend to come here as a cop. That is so offensive and ridiculous. So I... if I started singing Down by the Old Mill Stream, you couldn't join me in three-part harmony. Down by thee, down by thee, down by the old mill stream when I first met you. Down by the old mill stream, the old mill stream. <laughs> Oh, shoot. <laughs>